Hey everyone, welcome back to TechRushi. If you're an iPhone user, you're gonna want to hear this. The new iOS 18.1 Public Beta 2 just dropped, and I've got some important updates for you. Before you hit that download button, let's talk. Now, I know you're excited to try out the latest features, but hold on for a second. There are some serious bugs in this update that could mess with your daily use. First up, the control center. If you're like me, you rely on it for quick access to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other toggles. But guess what? It's all over the place in this beta. You swipe down and bam, some of the toggles just vanish. Poof gone. It's like magic, but in the worst way possible. Then, when you swipe up again, things randomly come back, but not in the order you left them. It's frustrating, right? Imagine needing to connect to Wi-Fi and it's not even showing up where it should be. Not only that, but sometimes when you unlock and lock your phone, the entire control center layout refreshes itself. Like seriously. This is a nightmare for anyone who uses their phone as efficiently as possible. But it's not all bad. Apple did sneak in something pretty cool. You can now separately toggle Wi-Fi, cellular data, and Bluetooth personal hotspot. This is a game changer for those of you who need more control over your connections, especially when you're on the go. Just long press the toggles and boom, you can easily switch between networks or disable them without diving into your settings. Finally, but let's not forget the bugs I mentioned these glitches in Control Center really overshadow this useful addition. Oh, and here's something a lot of us have been waiting for, the ability to reset the Control Center. Thank goodness, right? If the layout drives you crazy, there's now a simple button that resets it to default. Just tap it and you're back to normal. Well, as normal as this buggy beta gets. But even after resetting, I've encountered weird pop-ups like phantom panels that appear and disappear. It's honestly more annoying than helpful right now. For those lucky enough to have the iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, you're gonna see a new feature in your Messages app, Apple Intelligence. This AI-powered tool suggests replies and even offers smart recommendations while you're typing. Sounds cool, right? But is it really something we'll use every day? Same goes for Apple Notes. You'll see a new toggle for Apple Intelligence here too. Select some text and watch the AI do its thing, but again, I'm not sure this will replace your day-to-day -day habits just yet. Now let's talk about the important stuff performance and battery life. Besides the control center bugs, the system feels smooth overall. I haven't noticed any lag or overheating issues on my iPhone, and I've been running the update for over a day now. As for battery life, no complaints so far. My phone's at 87% capacity after multiple updates, and I haven't seen a drop since installing iOS 18.1 Public Beta 2. If you're worried about battery health, this update seems pretty stable in that department. So should you download iOS 18.1 Public Beta 2? Well, here's the deal if you can deal with the bugs in Control Center, then go for it. The new features are nice, but honestly, they're not life-changing. If bugs drive you crazy like they do me, I'd say skip this one and wait for the next beta. Thanks for tuning in to TechRushi. If you found this video helpful, like subscribe and share it with your fellow iPhone friends. Stay tuned for more iOS 18 updates and I'll catch you in the next one.